Hi guys, it's Matthew here. Welcome back to another video on my channel today. Today in this episode, guys, um, I um, I have here another LEGO Star Wars set review, as a matter of fact. So today in this episode, guys, we are looking at the, the Death Star Trash Compactor Diorama, as a matter of fact. And... Um, and and so um, um and so yeah guys that's what we're going to be doing here today is reviewing the Lego Star Wars diorama set um as a matter of fact guys and um and so yeah guys um leave your leave your thoughts down below about this set as a matter of fact guys and also guys be sure you like comment and subscribe and share this video with your friends cuz that would really help on my channel greatly and also, guys, those of you guys that are not new to the channel, I do more than just Lego-related stuff. I do more. I I also do movies and physical media-related content, and video games. Sorry, guys, I stutter a lot, so I apologize. Um, please do go watch all my other videos. Um, please go watch all my other videos, guys. Give all my other videos a chance, guys. And if you do end up liking this channel, guys. Please do give this video a big huge thumbs up, leave a like and a comment, and be sure you hit that red subscribe button, but most importantly, make sure you press that notification bell so you don't miss anything in the future. As a matter of fact, guys, and also guys, if you're not new to the channel, if you haven't subscribed already, please go subscribe right after this video, guys, but plenty of there were do, guys. Enjoy the video. Let's get started. All right, so... Starting off here with the minifigures, we got six of them to go through. This is this is the only diorama to have more than six min to have not more than six, more than three minifigures. As a matter of fact, because we got a micro scale diorama and we had two and we had minifigure scaled dioramas, and um and we only got three figures in those, and in this one we have six figures, as a matter of fact. So yeah. Here's Luke Skywalker in his Stormtrooper outfit. I'm very happy to see this figure updated because I couldn't afford the playscale Death Star to get the um, Stormtrooper Luke and Han minifigures because that was the only set that they came in. But then they released the Trash Compactor diorama and I was excited to get them then as a matter of fact. And so yeah, really like this figure a lot. Um, um, so yeah, Luke Skywalker's got print on, print on his torso, good printing on the legs and print on the back. And if we lift that up, he does have an alternate face, as a matter of fact. And then here is Princess Leia. Um, part of part of me was asking, why doesn't she have like her dress piece, as a matter of fact, and just regular legs? And then I and then I was like, oh yeah, that's right, she doesn't. She doesn't have like a full length dress style until until she gets to Yavin 4 in A New Hope, as a matter of fact. But I kind of wish she had print on her legs, but I do like the printing on the back of the torso, though. But but yeah, I kind of wish there was printing to the legs, though. And then here we have um, Princess Leia's alternate face. So that's Princess Leia. Now we should move on to Stormtrooper Han, as a matter of fact. So he has the same. So so um so the Stormtrooper outfit is the exact same. Hey, stay. Um, is the exact same as um as the Stormtrooper outfit on Luke, as a matter of fact. But I am just gonna show his alternate face, cause that's um cause that's pretty much all. Because that's the only thing really different <laughs> to show. All right, and then here is Chewbacca. Um, so Chewbacca is is not exclusive to the set. He is new, as a matter of fact. And then, so he does come with that pipe though that you can use to, to so you know to like stop um stop the walls from caving in on you just like they did in the movie as well and so and so yeah um i i really hope they continue to put printing on on his legs and whatnot because i i'm appreciating that 
late printing, as a matter of fact. And then here is three sepia. So, so the, the most exciting thing about this figure is the printing on his arms, as a matter of fact. And, um, and, my, and my biggest hope for this summer is that he has, is that, he has um, that printing on his arms in the Yavin 4 set because um because a couple of times this year um well at least in the UCS Luke's um Luke's X Wing we've gotten back print on Art 2D2 and I'm hoping they 3 CPO has that in Yavin in the Yavin 4 set. Same thing with Art 2D2 there as a matter of fact. But but um but but see so, but so yeah I, I really do like um, this three CPO minifigure as well. And then R2D2, you guys already seen it because he has back torso print. So yes, for three CPO and R2D2, I sure hope they have they have um they have the exact same prints. They have, they have those exact same prints in the Alvin Four set because they've done this for R2D2 a couple of times already. And they already done this for C3PO once. I hope they have they both have it in the oven for so. Alright, so now the diorama itself as a matter of fact. So this one is a little bit heavier than um than this one is a little bit heftier than some of the other dioramas, as a matter of fact. Um like the Dagobah one is pretty heavy because it's longer, as a matter of fact. And then come here to these two tile pieces right here so we got the lego star wars so this one is not exclusive to this particular set but so far what it's exclusive to is all these diorama sets that they've been making as well and then and then we got a, and then this one is the exclusive one because this is the quote to this scene and it says one thing's for sure we're all going to be a lot thinner from han solo as a matter of fact and so and so, yeah, my, I really like that quote a lot, as a matter of fact. And so, and so, yeah, um, the way, um, um, the way that, um, that they have all the trash items, um, in this, um, in this set, I think is really good. I think they did a fab job of making this set look dirty, brownie, and, tr and trashy, as a matter of fact, and, um, so yeah, um, there's um, this piece right here is an astromech leg, like like they use with R2D2, um, as a matter of fact, and um, and this one doesn't have doesn't have much um, translucent pieces, one by one translucent pieces, as um, as the Dagobah one, because um, Dagobah that one had 177 transgrain tiles, and this one didn't um but but the most tedious part about this set to me is the is the fact where you have to get all the tiles lined up as a matter of fact and so and so yes i i just thought that that was kind of tedious to do as a matter of fact it was making me anxiety a little bit even all right moving on and um so one of the complaints about this set was the was the was the thing that they were showing off anti studs right there? I purposely don't have a problem with that because, because um, because the whole point of this diorama is to display it like this, and when you and then if you display it like that, people are not going to look at the sides there. As a matter of fact, so so yes, that one that that always gets slack for some reason, but. To be honest, I don't think it's that big of a problem, as a matter of fact. Feel free to disagree with me down in the comment section down below, but I purposely don't think it's um it, it's really that big of a problem. Alright, so moving on back here, there is a little section on the back here um that none of them so none of the other so not a single one of the dioramas has um has like an inch longer in the back as a matter of fact so um so yeah you don't expect to see anything like this 
on one of the other diorama sets. And, and my biggest question about this set, if this was going to be a print or a sticker, and that is a print, as a matter of fact. And this is where you can place MC3PO. So you can place 3CPO and R2D2 back here just like this, like they're getting ready to open the door. But unfortunately, the door does not open. So if you want, so if you want to make, so if you truly want to make the door open, you're going to have to do a lot of modification to the set, as a matter of fact. I kind of wish the door had a function to open, but um, I guess, um, but I guess it's fine um, because, um, I guess it's fine because this is just meant for display. It's, it's not a place at all, but but so I'm okay with the door not opening though. But but yes, it would have been nice if it um if it opened though. All right, so the big thing about um about this set here, let me get their mini figures into their panic expression. So let me get Leia and put her like that, and then. Let's get Luke, put his panic expression on. So let me put him like that. And then let's get Han. Put his expression on and have him put his blaster up like that. So then he goes right there. There we go. Put him straight up. There we go. And then Chewbacca goes back here on those two studs right there. And then, and then the reason why I was setting him up because you're meant to make this happen, and it works. It totally works. Notice I didn't have to repose anybody. As long as you put them and they're assigned to places, like um, like I just showed you, um, it um, um, it, it will work as a matter of fact, and um, and I'm actually glad that they included um that function as a matter of fact. I kind of wish the set was cheaper, um, was cheaper as a matter of fact, because this one's ninety dollars, and before here, let me get let me get the Dangle Boss set to show you. Um, for, um, for, so I can get a comparison as a matter of fact. So, so, um, so, so yes. So the Dagobah was released at the same time. So before Lego increased it to $10, increase it for $10 more, the Dagobah set was $80. And then this one down here is $90. I feel like if Lego's going to do that, this one shouldn't have just been $90 in the first place. And this one should have been eighty dollars. So um, it's because the Dagobah one is longer. The Dagobah is the longest diorama set, and um, and this one is the same size as all the other diorama sets. As a matter of fact, so so yes, I so um so instead they made this eighty dollars, and then they made this ninety dollars. It's so ridiculous how um how 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 things get expensive these days like um like um like i once said what um what happened when the ver when when the when the variety of lego sets were were at least half of them were um were mostly 50 to 60 dollars as a matter of fact that um that was my question as a matter of fact but 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 still guys that that's pretty much all i have to say about it but i just wish it was cheaper i kind of like everything about this except for the price though but i am i do enjoy this set as a matter of fact guys but i would recommend you guys pick this set up because i do believe it is retiring this year the dagobah one and the trench run those two are retiring for sure but this one i'm not so sure about but so if you haven't picked any of the three up if you haven't picked the three dioramas, any of the three dioramas that were released last year, if you haven't picked any of them up yet, you might want to go back and pick them up. You might want to go pick them up 
if you haven't already, because I would recommend you get them for your dis for your LEGO display collection, as a matter of fact, guys. But without any further ado, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video, as a matter of fact. If you guys can please like, comment, and subscribe, and then share this video with your friends, that really help on my channel greatly. And also, guys, those of you guys that are not new to the channel, um, that are that are new to the channel, excuse me, I do more than just lego related stuff i also do movies and physical media related content and um video games all sorts of stuff like that guys so if that kind of stuff is your speed to watch on youtube guys please make sure you go watch a couple of other videos could come out of the videos a chance guys and if you do end up liking the channel guys please do give this video a big huge thumbs up leave a like and a comment as a matter of fact guys and be sure you hit that red subscribe button, but most importantly, press that notification bell so you don't want to say anything in the future. And um, and also, guys, those of you guys that are not new to the channel, if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you go subscribe right after this video, guys. With any further ado, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video, guys. I'm going to go get bringing back to more videos because more are on the way sooner rather than later, as a matter of fact, guys. But, but with any further ado, guys... Take care, drink water, and stay safe, and I will see you all in the very next video. Bye!